Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Quality Healthcare Kenya Awards CEO Grace Ndegwa. Karibu. Secretary of Health, Mrs. Cecily Karioki, Honorable Governor, Professor Kivuda Kibwana, Deputy Governors present, County Executive Committee members of health present, Ministry of Health officials, Quality Healthcare Kenyan Awards 2019 partners, members of the fourth estate, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed, good evening. It is with much gratitude that I welcome you all here on this beautiful evening for the first Quality Healthcare Kenyan Awards. Thank you for making the time to join us tonight. To see all of you seated here, it's very beautiful considering that the initiative was uh, conceptualized in 2017 as a brainchild of Zawadi brand solutions, born out of the need to recognize outstanding performance towards improving standards in healthcare. Working in partnership with AMREF Health Africa, we set out to create an environment that demands and promotes equal access to quality, patient-centered care, and that also engages and empowers people and communities to drive quality. Quality Healthcare Kenyan Awards seeks to recognize individuals and organizations for their outstanding performance and also innovation. All those we shall honor this evening, demonstrated excellence and innovation in the sector towards delivering quality patient-centered care. We set out on this journey to change the narrative and showcase impact of the positive contributions in the Kenyan health sector for scalability and sustainability, which is a first step in the right direction towards improving the standards of health service delivery. The 2019 Quality Healthcare Kenyan Awards to be bestowed tonight recognizes contributions towards improving access to primary care services, advancing maternal and child health, health facility innovation, student innovation, lifetime achievement award, use of information technology to improve patient-centered care, media excellence in promoting health and well-being, health leadership, counties with the best managed healthcare, and People's Choice Awards that are meant to honor the hospitals of choice, the public, private, and faith-based hospitals, which were nominated by the public. The public got the opportunity to choose the hospital that meets their needs, and by that, they were also giving reasons as to why they think the health facility deserves to be recognized for offering quality health services. And with that, the hospitals that had the highest number of nominations were shortlisted, and the ones that got the highest number of votes are the ones that you are going to honor tonight. Let me express my pleasure that I'm able to join the health fraternity this evening, again, marking a fast through the award ceremony of the year 2019, which is the first and many more to come. This award ceremony comes at a critical time when we are planning a scale up of UHC across the country. Enshrined in the SDGs, like Meshach has already so eloquently shared with us, UHC aims at providing quality healthcare services thus enabling us as a country to transit to a more productive and equitable economy. The program interventions are aimed at addressing the three critical issues that my colleagues spoke about, but so that I take a reflection. These include affordability, accessibility, and quality. Needless to say, colleagues, that resilient health services require quality as a foundation. Therefore, UHC should not be discussed or even planned without focusing on quality. It is for this reason, therefore, that today's event, tonight's event, is worthwhile given that its purpose is to identify, to recognize, and to spotlight 
exemplary health workers, managers and leaders, as well as organizations in this country whose performance is worth our emulation. As I reflect on what healthcare workers do on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as leaders, I am reminded that theirs is an incredible responsibility because patients depend on them for safe, effective, timely, efficient, equitable, and people-centered services. Poor quality of health services is a challenge of any health system in countries at all levels of income. While high quality health systems globally have a great impact in averting deaths such as preventing the 1 million newborn deaths and 900,000 deaths from tuberculosis, just to quote one 